Hello and welcome back to another MATLAB video. I am Nikita from MATLAB Helper and today we are going to talk about creating a graphical user interface with guide. The video is probably most appropriate if you are using MATLAB 2015B or earlier. If you are using a newer version, I actually recommend checking out the app designer which is a new app building platform in MATLAB. App Designer simplifies the process of creating the user interface and the code which controls the app behavior. First of all, let us now understand what is GUI. So, a GUI is a graphical user interface which is a sort of interface through which users interact with electronic devices via visual indicator representations. It allows the user to set the commands over the screen as conveniently as desired. A GUI may be a system of interactive visual components for computer software. It displays objects that convey information and represent actions that can be taken by the user. The object changes color, size or visibility when the user interacts with them. GUI objects include icons, cursors, and buttons. These graphical elements are sometimes enhanced when sounds or visual effects like transparency and, shadow sh and shadows. So here we are using guide. First of all, let us understand what is guide. Guide stands for Graphical User Interface Development Environment. It provides you the tools to design user interfaces and create custom apps. In this video, we will be able to draw plots, graphs like this. As you can see, with the help of just some buttons, we can have plots like this. So now, let's move on to our code. Till now, whatever we have discussed has just made us eager to explore more of GUI. So now it's time for our own GUI. It will be a fun learning experience which will be beneficial for sure. So we will be using guide for our creation of GUI. And to launch guide, open the command window and type guide and then press the enter key. After pressing the enter key, a pop-up menu will appear on the screen called the guide quick start with various options for the layout of our GUI. So we will be choosing blank GUI default option provided in the list and then we will press OK. After this, a new window will appear which is called the guide layout editor which appears with the name unlightled.fig. From here, we will design the layout of our GUI by dragging and dropping the components from the left onto the canvas. But before we start doing that, let's go to the file and then preferences and check the top box. We notice here that the checkbox is not selected and now we will select this and press OK. From here, we notice that uh, we can see the various options are now present with their specific names. First, let's start by resizing our template. We can do this to whatever size and by default it will be fixed size which, is, which will not be resizable. However, if you want to change this property, we will go into the tools menu and then click the option GUI options then a pop-up menu will appear. From this, we will be choosing the option non-resizable and press OK. After this, let's add a couple of components to our GUI. First, let us add an axis to the GUI. For doing so, click on the axis and stretch it to whatever dimension you want. 
we will choose it to this much now let's add a panel to our GUI for this click on the panel button and stretch it to whatever size you want we'll take this now let's make our panel interactive by adding some push buttons we can even duplicate our push buttons by right clicking it and clicking the option duplicate let's make three and now we can place it as we want now our panel can move as a group to whatever place we want now let's make our GUI more interactive by adding static text and pop-up menu for this let's select static text and then stretch it to the dimension we want after this then select pop-up menu and stretch it to the size you want now we can even change the properties of our GUI by double clicking on any object and changing its name or any tag let's let's change the uh, name of our GUI for this we double clicked on the empty space of our GUI and on the name option we write basic GUI We are done with changing the name of our of our layout. Now we'll change the name of our push buttons. We'll go on string and type whatever name we want. We'll choose it as surf. And then here we can take as mesh. And here we can take as contour. So we are now done with changing the name of our panel. Now we can change the uh, name of various other available options. So now let's change the name of our static text box. For this, we will double select it and then move to string type and change its name as select data we are done with changing its name now let's change the string property of the pop-up menu we'll go and now we'll select on this area and type whatever names we want let's choose as peaks membrane contour let's change the track property of our various buttons for this we'll double click on the surf button and go on to the tag here we'll change its name to surf push button We will be writing tag as mesh, mesh push button. Now we will do the same for contour. So we are now done with changing the names of our buttons. Now we will add some tools in our toolbar editor. 
Now you can customize the push buttons or toggle buttons or many other predefined tools. Now, in now this is the toolbar editor. We'll open this and from here we can add the various tools we want to. Like I'll add in zoom in, zoom out, pan, data cursor, and rotate. When you are done with, then just select where the just select OK. At now, you'll run the GUI by clicking on the green button. This will generate a MATLAB fig file that displays your GUI. Let's go ahead and save the layout. So here's the GUI. Let's name it as basic GUI. We saved it and now we can see a code that has come in front of us and the fig file that we generated. This is what we had made in our layout too. So all the components are displayed as we have placed them including the toolbar editor. So behind the figure we'll notice a code. This is the MATLAB function. So now let's have a look at the editor window too. You will notice that there is a MATLAB function with an equivalent name as our figure guide which generates two files as you can see here. The dot fig file contains the layout information and the dot m file contains the implementation code which you can see here. So all the code that you see here right now is automatically generated and we can add custom code and functionality for the user interacts with the GUI. We can call this custom code callback functions. We can use the go to option to help us navigate to each callback. These are the various callbacks that we have created while, to, while working on our layout. So let's go on to the opening function. This is the function that is called first. When the GUI runs in the program, we can load and create data. This is used in the GUI and can also do some initial plotting. Now I'll just type out this code in our initial code. First to share data within the GUI, you can use the handles, handles st structure. Second, this auto-generated line also specifies what is returned as an output argument. So now we'll just type out the code which we saw just now. This is the code and now the GUI is called. Finally, the line at the end is required to update the handle data structure. Now we can switch back to our layout editor by running this and then we can get the graphs as as it is desired. We can even change the properties of various callbacks to get the def to get various other plots too like surf, mesh. So now we have learned quite a lot of how to make our own graphical user interface. Thank you for watching this video. Do like this video if you found it helpful. If you have any query, post it in the comments or get in touch with us. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Education is our future. MATLAB is our future. Happy MATLABing!